and you're watching 8-bit days a week and this time we're gonna play Gundam Battle Assault on the PlayStation Classic and as you probably could tell right now I am a big fan of um, mecha shows and that includes Gundam This is a uh, fighting game. Gundam, Battle of Hell. Um, featuring mostly from Universal Century, actually. Uh, shortcut on, I don't have a way. Ah. Ah, anyway, I'll just leave it as it is. Gundam, Battle of Hell. And. While it's mostly from Universal Century during the time of its release, Gundam Wing was the big one, it was a big hit at, at least. So they kind of shoehorned in uh, Gundam Wing here. And as you can see, the rest of the cast is actually from Universal Century. Zeong, Akgai, Haigong, GP02, Zeta Gundam, Sazabi, Theo, and Q-Manta. And let's just go with... I'm pretty sure New Gundam and RX-78 are, was, are hidden characters here. Of course, the storylines won't, won't make sense. <laughs> it's a pretty good uh, uh, graphics, at least. Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. I will enable the show FPS, leaving everything uh, to default there, just to see how much you can play through this without touching any twe um, without tweaking any settings the game may feel like a slog actually I mean they move so slow can actually still have uh, fun with it, or maybe I'm just too forgiving because it's Gundam. So that may be like a you know, like a biased opinion there. It's nothing like say any Capcom fighter or even a Namco fighter. But if you like Gundam, you're gonna enjoy this. To an extent at least. Because when you get to, say, the Big Zam, <laughs> you might swear off this game completely. <laughs> so if I remember correct, what they did there was to retool the, the Zeta Gundam to make it look like a Wing Gundam here. Since they are both transforming mobile suits. Gato GP02. One of my favorite mobile suit designs. With these big, big shields and a big bazooka. This uh, super, by the way, like uh, Shinryuken there. All right, no 
graphical glitches whatsoever. No s audio glitches as well, so this looks like a good... I mean, at least a playable game in the PlayStation Classic. But once again, given that it's a fighting game, without the without like a USB hub, you cannot play this two-player. It's the Red Comet himself. Wait, I can't recall right now. If Char is here, then who's piloting the Sazabi? to my buster rifle well, I made it and here we go big zam this is one of the most annoying mid-boss battles you'll ever encounter in a fighting game. Even on a easy setting, it can still be very much annoying. I think I'm out of bullets, which is ridiculous in a fighting game. Hey, okay, look, I made it. Well, of course, this was set too easy because I don't want to deal with him on a higher difficulty setting. Shiroko. Ready? Go. There is nothing sleek about the O's design, but it's still one of the one of my favorite at least in uh, Zeta Gundam and there's a lot of designs shown in uh, that series it's where we saw Kibale uh, Hammurabi Kamiru <laughs> Of course his name is Camille I wonder why they had to really change it completely So you'll notice how similar these two are, kind of like Ryu and Ken. In the Japanese version, I think, 
There is no Wing Gundam. Hey, you reminded me that I have that move. <laughs> I've forgotten that I had that move. So in place of Wing Gundam, there was another mobile suit. I can't recall right now which one was it. Anyway, that's it for Gundam Battle Assault. I don't see any problems. Everything looks great. And, um, okay, thanks for watching 8 bit days a week. Oh, this is another mid boss battle. Even more annoying than the big Zam, probably. And um, please do comment, like, and subscribe. Catch me more for more PlayStation games running on the PlayStation Classic. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.